gold. I was going to do some yard work, but it's snowing. So might be a good time to head to the shed and do some more biogas stuff. Okay, so these three jars here will be our three scrubbers. So one will be airlock and for carbon dioxide. One will be for the hydrogen sulfide, which is the steel wool. And this one will be for the water. So they'll be clay pellets to get rid of the moisture out of the gas. So once all these are drilled, we'll go through that. The idea is that bang, hose into here, down low. So we have a water level probably about here. This hose, the inlet hose, comes down, bubbles through, and then this other hose sits just at the top. So it's not in the water. So that allows it to bubble through the solution and then come out and we do the exact same thing. Down, up, down, up and out into our storage bag. So these grommets that I bought, they have a lip inside. So when I drill a hole through here, I can just slip them in. Apologize for my bloody knuckle. Um, drill those and then I've got specialty ones here because these are in three quarters of an inch. So that's around 19, uh, 19 millimeters. So I want to do it just a tad smaller and then I can file it out if I need to. Same with the hose. It's about 15, um, so I bought 14 just so I can get a tight fit in there. So I've got to drill in the actual grommet itself to make a tight fit there. So when I get that done, I'll put that on the drill press, drill these initial holes, slip those grommets in, and then drill the grommets and we'll get a test fit of the hose. Good, good, that should be a good fit. There you go, so all six done of these. Now it's time to do the lids. So I've measured out where I want my holes. I've got the 18 mil on here. So I just need to drill these. So I'm a bit of a dipstick. You know, in school, I came first in woodwork. Not too much metal work, I didn't do metal work, but the job's done. Uh, that's not real good for going through this. But I went slow and that went alright. My woodwork teachers to tell me if you can't see it, it doesn't matter. So on the inside I just had to flatten a few things out because there was so much pressure putting down it because I can't actually do this way. I have to do up and under this way and uh, put a bit of wood underneath, a thin bit of wood, so I could actually get up there without hitting this. But that's what it should look like. Hose in, hose in, new beauty. Only two more to go. So it turns out I actually had another spare roll of this steel wool. So this is just from a hardware store, this is just like hobby stuff. It's, um, it was in the hobby aisle get really fine grade steel wool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out and then plop it in and then do the same what I've done here is just sort of bury it in there and then have the other hose just barely sitting on the top out. Now I've just done a very crude setup here but I'm just about to turn the tanks back on so you'll start to see it bubble. And being clear be a lot better than that. Than the last one I had. This is all a build up from when I had the, uh, the valve turned off at the tank. Well, I had to hook this new system up. So here's all the lines set up again. Uh, look, I, I was going to do the three jars, 
but I opted just for the two because I have had people ask me how long these are the steel wool lasts and as we saw from the last video how it turns black brown uh, I thought well I'll test it first I'll do a little amount in this one so as I said that's got a bit of a bleachy solution in it so that should be still alkaline so it's only been running for a little while and uh, the steel wool in there is for the hydrogen sulfide the pellets are for the moisture not for hydrogen sulfide or anything like that um, so when I give an update of that I'll let you guys know and then we'll start doing the separate ones so the middle one there with the clay pellets will just be clay pellets and the steel wall will be that big one there but like I said the, that's a good idea having these in see-through uh, glass jars so I can keep an eye on it uh, and as you can see here everything's hooked up I've got the gas lines hooked up there and the one that goes down the back is hooked up still to that so I've still got that old airlock as you can see in the center of the screen which will have to be replaced at some stage but I just thought for now these will do. A little bit short of this video, uh, it's not much to it. Like I say, we just have to run the gas through these, it's just containers, and set those up. I would like some more valves there, so when um, I need to check things, I can turn each individual scrubber off and um, not have to turn the whole tank off. It's easy enough. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I, the only thing I missed was me pouring in the, in the bleach and water solution and then filling up the jars, but that's not really too exciting to watch, and just me with a handful of clay pellets pouring it into, um, a jar, and then shoving the hoses through, the grommets. So, yeah, look, it's, I said, biogas doesn't have to be rocket science, it can be as hard as you want it to be. If you want to know all the science and chemical reactions, you can learn it. Um, Professor Google knows all that stuff. Um, I know a bit of it in my head. I'm certainly not a professor myself, but um, I've always said just a dude in a shed with some plastic tubs and uh, some hoses. Um, but yeah, guys, that's uh, probably it. You can still see it's bubbling away there. Um, it's snowing this morning. Um, yeah if there's anything else that you want me to cover or ideas comments suggestions leave them down below otherwise have a great day see ya